Hello and welcome back to the AGF channel. Make do and mend. Today we have a fun and sustainable patch tutorial. Create these lovely hexagon and Dresden applique blocks and add some style with beautiful patches and some simple sashiko stitching. Perfect for mending your favorite pair of jeans or using up those extra blocks you have laying around in your stash. Gail Lorraine by Elizabeth Chappelle. Ever absent, ever near. Memories of Elizabeth's mother, Gail Lorraine, are brought to life in this nostalgic collection of delicate florals and timeless elements. Wildflowers abound in tints of sweet pink, cream, and warm rustic reds. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the AGF channel for more crafty sewing content. Here's what you'll need to get started. Fabrics from Gail Lorraine, coordinating blenders, jeans that need to be mended, templates, embroidery floss, fusible interfacing, steam seam, ruler and rotary cutter, pins, scissors, a thimble, embroidery or sashiko needles, and an embroidery hoop optional. We'll start by cutting out our fabrics. You can use scissors or our preferred method, a rotary cutter and rotating mat for quick and accurate cutting. You'll cut out 17 Dresden templates in each of the fabrics and one center circle. For the hexagon, you'll need one center hexi, six middles, and 12 outer hexes. Today's tutorial is focusing on the Y seam. You'll measure and mark each piece at one quarter inch and then sew from point to point, leaving the outer edges unsewn. Place your presser foot and needle down exactly at the first mark. Stitch three stitches, back stitch two. And then sew to the next mark. You'll want to use the hand crank for the last few stitches for precision. Back stitch.
Sew all your dressed in pieces in this manner, pressing your seams open to form the large patch. Now let's move on to the hexes. Mark each of your hexagons at one quarter inch from the edge. Make a small dot at each point. We start by sewing two middle hexes together in the center, starting and stopping at the points. Place your presser foot and needle down exactly at the first mark. Stitch three stitches, back stitch two. And then sew to the next mark. You'll want to use the hand crank for the last few stitches for precision. Back stitch. trim, and press the seams open. Now we'll attach the center hexi to the two hexes we just sewed together. Lay the center piece on the hexi to the left and align your marks. Use pins through the two layers to line up your dots and push your seam allowance out of the way. Sew from mark to mark in the same manner we did before. Trim and press. Now it's on to the Y intersection. Flip the center hexi to the other side and move the seam allowance out of the way. I like to sew with the center hexi face up. Line up your pins again. and sew from dot to dot. Trim and press. A beautifully sewn three hexi Y seam. Okay. 
Sew the entire structure in this method, working around the circle until complete. Press your seam allowance outer edges under. Now we're going to use steam -a seam for the center of our Dresden piece to applique it on. Use your completed patches as a guide to cut out larger pieces of steam -a seam and secure to the back of your patches. Now add the patches to your jeans. Place them over any tears and press to secure in place. We added fusible interfacing to the interior of the jeans for added stability and durability. You can edge stitch the patches to the jeans by hand or on the machine. Add some fun embroidery for a fabulous finishing touch. We used a blanket stitch around the circle using embroidery floss. plus a simple sashiko stitch around the outer edge of our patches as a decorative element. and your jeans are beautifully patched. We hope you enjoyed this fun mending and applique tutorial. And until next time, happy sewing.